Anne McDonald grew up in New Orleans and Monroe, Louisiana. Even at a young age, Anne was instilled with a sense of public service. I think that's where the seed was planted by my parents. They always valued giving back to the community. It was not that anybody had to say it, but we just knew it. Anne attended Newcomb College, and after completing her master's degree at Yale University, she returned to New Orleans and married King Milling. The couple is known for their tireless work on behalf of countless organizations. What an awesome sight for us Southern ladies to be here in front of the Capitol. The Junior League of New Orleans was the starting point for Anne's volunteer career. She served as president and was later recognized as the Sustainer of the Year in 1990. It was the Junior League, and I give them full credit. The Junior League training is the key, but I say it wherever I go. We're going to tweet and Twitter. We're going to YouTube, blog, email, Facebook. We're going to do it all. Few organizations have not been touched by Anne's generosity and leadership, whether it's the arts, education, health care, or feeding our communities hungry. Anne was a, a, a terrific advocate in terms of acquiring resources, food uh, for poor people, for folks who are unemployed, people falling on hard times. The Archdiocese of New Orleans was uh, striving to become uh, an affiliate of the National Second Harvest Food Bank Network, which entitled you to donations from major food brands, manufacturers, brokers. And so it developed that there was a need for a merger between the Community Food Bank and the, the new Second Harvest program. And Anne was already serving on the board for the uh, Community Food Bank, and so after a couple of years of negotiations, the Community Food Bank joined the Second Harvest effort, which has now become a food bank that serves millions of pounds of food uh, throughout southeast Louisiana. Archbishop Philip Hannon asked Anne to handle hospitality for Pope John Paul II's papal visit to New Orleans in 1987. Shortly after the papal visit, Anne decided to focus her efforts at Project Lazarus, a residence serving men and women who are HIV positive. Personally, she wanted to get more involved in a, in a critical community issue, and that was to provide a residential care facility for people with AIDS. So Anne wound up being on the board of Project Lazarus for many years, but she was also, once again, a, a direct volunteer. At the time of the disease, uh, it was somewhat uh, sort of the untouchable organization. Nobody really wanted to get involved. And I think Anne Milling uh, showed the way for many, many people to step up and, and be part of something that was uh, so necessary in our community. I have never seen anyone who could lead the biggest events in town and then could also be so one-to-one -one personal, visiting with a dying person at Lazarus House or taking care of consoling somebody when they just lost a family member. It has probably been the most impactful volunteer um, opportunity I ever had, working among men and women who were dying and who needed our love and our support and our care. Because of Anne's commitment to give the city the very best, she builds teams that bring the best minds and ideas to the table. And in many cases, that's Anne's kitchen table. Ann Milling's kitchen table, I think, is where ideas uh, gain their traction. You see the people out of there, and it's, it's, everybody is contributing something. The great diversity, uh, great energy. She always asks others' opinion, and she listens. She makes us all feel equal. She's a true leader. Her leadership style is, come with me and I'll take you on the ride of a lifetime and she really has that ability to get people to believe. Shortly after Hurricane Katrina washed ashore in 2005, Anne founded a new organization dedicated to rejuvenating the devastated Gulf Coast, the Women of the Storm. Well, they started talking about how to get Congress, members of Congress to come see New Orleans for themselves. And being a very gracious Southern lady, said, well, if you want someone to come to your home, you have to invite them. So that was the genesis of getting on a plane with 130 women and a few media people, flying to Washington, D.C., having a news conference on Capitol Hill, and inviting congressional members, senators, a few key administrative staffers to come to New Orleans. 
every senator and member of the House who has come to Louisiana and been the guest of the Women of the Storm have become converts, advocates of Louisiana and, and the devastation. I think Congress has had a little bit of a time turning us down because we haven't been overpowering. They have a way of speaking softly in making a request. It, it, it's delivered in such a way that you don't realize it, but it's actually a command. And, and the, the real trait she has is, is you actually feel good about doing it. And you've already started to do it before you even know that you're doing it. I always say, if you want something said, you ask a man. If you want something done, you ask a woman. And these gals get it done. With every volunteer activity, you always gain more than you give. If Mary Harriman was known for her fearless ability to address the societal problems of her time and her willingness to reach out and build collaborations to make positive change, then it is most fitting to recognize Anne McDonald Milling with the 2012 Mary Harriman Community Leadership Award. If she's going to do something, she's going to do it right. It's going to matter. It's going to achieve its aim. And she never gives up. Project Lazarus without Ann Milling would not be where it is today. Second Harvest without Ann Milling would not be where it is today. Women of the Storm, it would have been less effective. I mean, she's clearly one of the most influential New Orleanians of, of my generation. What I admire, I think, is that she's been able to combine and balance taking care of the kids and the grandchildren and at the same time being able to do really significant work. Congratulations, Congratulations Nana. We, we love, love you. you. We are like so proud of you. I, I 